All right, we got Jill pulling double duty this morning because she has sensational. <laughs> she made it for us today. Sensational. Uh -huh. I got it. All right. I want to introduce you to Sarah Moray, a founder who's constantly hustling, never taking no for an answer, and now enjoying the sweet smell of success. I was a little embarrassed at first even to tell people that I was doing this because it felt like such a diversion from this finance career that I had built for myself, but I had so much confidence in this product. I just went for it. Sarah Moray knows firsthand that transitioning to a natural deodorant, well, stinks. What made you want to get into the deodorant business? This was 2018. I was trying to make the switch to cleaner products. Your skin is your biggest organ. What goes on goes in. I am very active. At the time, I was running marathons, always go, go, go. And by noon, I sunk. <laughs> so I kept going back to the antiperspirant and could not find anything that worked for me. After nearly a decade working in finance and venture capital, with $12,000 from her savings, Sarah decided to problem solve. I did some Googling, found a team of formulators that had formulated deodorants in the past and had some experience with clean and natural ingredients. And we worked together for almost a year formulating our first deodorant product. Sarah went all in on Curie, launching their stick deodorant in 2019. At the beginning of an entrepreneurship, you're everything. You're the photographer, you make the product. You were doing everything, right? I did an online Adobe Illustrator class, like I think three hours and then designed our packaging. I designed our website myself. I really was doing our marketing, our operations, our finance. Curie was just over one year old when the COVID pandemic hit. People stopped buying deodorant at the beginning of the lockdown. Our sales really off a cliff. And so it, that was a moment where I just had to pivot and act quickly. And we were already working on our hand sanitizer formula. We launched it in May and we sold over 100,000 bottles of hand sanitizer within the first two months. So that saved the business. Sarah built the Curie brand to an entire line of personal care products, from stick and spray antiperspirants to body wash and body oil. Tell me about Shark Tank. The call came at a very inopportune time, right? I applied to be on Shark Tank a year prior, got a no. They encouraged me to apply again, and so I did. They basically told me, you're on call if we have extra slots this season. So sure enough, I was hiking on a Sunday with my husband when I got a phone call from the producers saying, hey, Sarah, can you be here at 4 o'clock? You're like, I'm in workout clothes. I stink. I'm on my way. <laughs> It's very on brand, but my husband and I just flew down the mountain. We sped home, used our full body spray deodorant as like my pseudo shower. I did my makeup for Shark Tank in the passenger seat of a car. I got to the set and boom, I was standing on the floor of Shark Tank pitching the sharks. Today, Curie can be found online, at major retailers, and inside the locker rooms of popular fitness studios like Equinox and SoulCycle. You called yourself delusionally optimistic. I feel like that's a thread that every entrepreneur shares, meaning if you're not delusionally optimistic, how are you going to get other people to be? Yeah, I mean, I have watched enough of your segments, Jill, to know that <laughs> I'm not the only one. Entrepreneurship is really hard. And if I had given up at any of those points where I totally could have, I wouldn't have a business. I wouldn't be sitting here today. So you really have to have that unwavering belief in yourself and your business and knowing that at this point, there is nothing that my team and I can't handle. Like bring it on. And I think that comes with a little bit of delusional optimism. <laughs> I love that delusional optimism. Well, Curie, if you're wondering, is named after the legendary female scientist oh. Marie Curie, yeah. who was the only person, Al knew this, to win a Nobel Prize in two separate fields. Yeah. And here are some of the products check here if you want to check them out. Um, they are in all types of stores now. Mm -hmm. I should say they're a little pricier because of what they provide, but yeah. they, she says they last a long time. So. However, Jill does not use the deodorant because you don't use deodorant. It's unbelievable. She just close to us in the commercial break she just doesn't smell she also in fact my brother too does not smell and does not use deodorant and both of them have actually no sense of smell and no friends uh, and i'd like to disclose i smell
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.